Okay. Man, I'm so excited about this hunt today. Not because it's going to be amazing or anything like that, but because I get to do it. This is the end of January, and it's warmed up enough today that this dirt has thawed a little bit. You can see how low it is. See the swimming dock here. And then you got the main bridge. Well, this place is pretty old. There used to be a ferry that would come across from over there to over here before the bridge, like back at the uh, beginning of the, nine, you know, like 1900, early 1900s. So I found a lot of old coins in here. You know, barber quarter, barber dimes, Indian head pennies, V nickels. Uh, found an old Butte mining token. So that was really cool. It said uh, good for a drink or a cigar. Hands in like men condition for being in the ground. But anyways, I have done a little bit of digging here already this year. I've done some water digs. So I don't really expect to, you know, find anything too amazing. But, you know, we're just kind of looking for last year's swimmer drops. So maybe we'll find some gold or silver. But anyways, I want to check before someone else gets down here and swoops me. So anyways, I'll turn you on if I get something good here. All right. Looks like we got our... First piece of jewelry. Looks like it's probably going to be bling. But, I'm sure the back is. <laughs> Look how crappy that's glued in there. It's like overlapping. Alright, well. First piece of jewelry. Okay, so... I did have to switch to a different dock and as you can see there's a lot of loose rock and that's kind of why I'm here because underneath that it's all frozen but I'm going to be able to get a lot of fresh drops higher than the frozen part so anyways first signal got some sort of souvenir penny that's been smashed don't know what it is but let's see what else we can get oh <laughs> Well, I wish I would have filmed it, but thought it was going to be a zinc penny. Look at that. No, what we got here, though. It's really heavy. So, I'm thinking it's probably going to be tungsten. There's a mark. Let me see. Yep, tungsten ring. But, that's a nice ring, man. Not bad. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, just got our first quarter. Let's see if we can get on some jewelry. Gosh, that sounded terrible. Now I know why. Look at that thing. It's actually coming up at 12 or 13. So, I mean, obviously it's not silver, but... You also know by the number that it's not going to be silver. All right. Oh. It's an old spoon. Let's see what else we can get out of here. We got a 13 here. Let's get it on top. Oh. Nickel. Well, I just found a little metal bead. I don't think it's precious, but if it is, I'll let you know. Hey, hey. don't take these very often. Look at that. Half dollar. It's 
It's like a 19, 1972, so it's going to be clad, but hey, that's fun. All right. Well, this was like a eight sound. And dead clear down there. Another old piece of silverware. Crazy. There's a mass sufficient weight for here. That's crazy. All right. Looks like I got me an earring. Big old hoop. So, anyways, on my machine that came up like a 22, so no doubt that's not gold. But what the heck? Jewelry. Okay, I got a. You know, from a 25 to a 27 to So. Could be a higher end diamond or a quarter. I can even do a silver one. Iron and dime. dime. All right, so I just moved a rock, and I see it. Do you see it? There it is. Another penny. All right, we got a nickel. Uh, I pulled a nail out of the same hole, so I could have left that if I wouldn't have rechecked. Penny. Another penny. All right. Looks like we found us a ring. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Some sort of bling. Fortunately, it's missing the stone or whatever that is. I didn't skip them like I didn't dig them. I just didn't show you. So I haven't been showing you all the signals, obviously, but here's a dime. And I skipped a bunch of pennies. All right, I got a nickel. Hey, it just got me a token. It says West Side Lanes. Probably not old, but I don't think it's from around here. Okay, I got a 21 here. Uh, most likely to be a penny. But... Gotta find out. It's a penny. Alright, I just got a quarter signal in. There it is, I see it right on top. I just need to get a gold ring right on top. Okay, so the ground's super frozen today. And I almost left, but I'm kind of on the, you know, the southwest side of the bank now. And I seem to be able to dig down a little bit, like you can see. But at first I was like, man, I'm only going to be able to get stuff that's like an inch down. So, anyways, I just got a penny. I don't know if this is going to end up being a filmed hunt or not. We'll see if I get anything at all. But, I don't know. I guess I'm just desperate. I really hate not metal detecting. Something I like to do every day if I can. And as you can see... There's not a lot of sun left in this guy, so if we find something, it's got to be quick, so we'll see what happens. I think, uh, you know, I'm going to have to go out in the water, generally, I think, from here on out if I want a metal detect, but you can't really see. But on the other side over here, there's an ice wall that's built up over the last couple days that's actually gone out there 30, 40 feet, so... 
you know, there's gonna be a lot of areas where ice is gonna keep me out of the water even, so. Anyways, hopefully we get some, uh, some nicer weather. You know, even the 40s would be okay and get me back out here a little more, but. Anyways, we're gonna see what we can do, so. Okay, I didn't film everything. I got like a 22 shell, a couple more pennies. Here's a dime. But, <clears throat> you know, I'm mostly just having to get stuff off the top or something kind of shallow. But the good news is I've dug this in here quite a bit. So most of it's going to be fresh drops from last year. But let's keep going. Maybe we can get a gold ring or silver ring or something. Look at that. People swimming in the winter in Montana. Screaming 24 right here. Sometimes what happens is these boats get in too close. They break their propeller. But this time, look at that. We got a car. Wow, you know, usually find the car clear right here. Look at that. You know what it is. Kind of looks like a cowboy or. Oh, looks like he's got a staff and maybe a sombrero. It's hard to tell. Well, there's a Montana sunset. Not bad place to live. All right. So. I'm just tired of trying to dig in frozen ground, so I went and got my water stuff on. I don't know if you can see this or not. Do I have a nickel right there on top? And a dime right there on top? And I can show you the retrieval, but... Okay, I <laughs> have no idea what this is. That's just an eyeball find, but... It's weird. I don't know if that's glass or what? It's like, almost like an aquarium rock or something. Alright, I have no idea what that thing is. Ring up an eight sitting under a rock. Alright, I got me a quarter. Some hard digging out here, but mostly looking for fresh drops anyways, because I do hit this every year. In fact, I'm standing within just a few feet of where I found my best gold ring ever. If you go to the uh, intro video I made, it's that first ring in the intro. So go check it out if you haven't looked at it yet. All right, just got me a dime. So I'm right underneath a swimming dock and the water's down, because this is a reservoir. Anyways, looks like I'm out of found me some cool shades here. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> yeah, look at that. Biohazard. That kind of cool print on it though. All right, let's find a gold ring. That's what we're here for. Well, there's a big old piece of junk jewelry. Let's find some real stuff. 